there are already more than a thousand electric buses in Moscow, in terms of their number, Moscow has come out on top in Europe. But these are large class electric buses. Now the Moscow government has decided to use electric buses even on streets where there are few passengers. For this, Gaz has developed a compact Gazelle City electric bus designed to carry 16 passengers, 13 sitting and 3 standing. This mini electric bus will be tested in Moscow for a whole year to test it both in summer, when it is hot, and in winter, when it is cold. Both externally and internally, the Gazelle City is almost the same as the modification with a diesel engine, the production of which the Gaz company began three years ago. The only noticeable difference is that the battery cover is located to the right of the driver's workplace instead of the passenger seat. It contains half of the NMC batteries and the second half of the batteries is located under the floor of the electric bus. A compact electric motor is also located there, the torque from which is transmitted through a gearbox and a short carton shaft to the rear drive axle. This bridge is exactly the same as that of the diesel modification of the bus. The heating system of the mini electric bus is not electric, but gas. This allows you to save a lot of electricity in winter, when frosts in Moscow reach minus 20 degrees, due to which the battery capacity is significantly reduced. Filling with gas is carried out through a small hatch in the port side. Let's go to the interior of the mini electric bus. As you can see, there is a stepless entrance. There are steps only in front of the passage to the rear of the cabin. There are 13 seats in total. Opposite the door is a storage area with three folding seats. On this site you can conveniently place a pram or a wheelchair. The city complies with the very strict transport standards of the Moscow government. The electric bus has an entrance to the passenger compartment without steps, a low floor level in the central part of the passenger compartment, the door is the same in width as in large class buses, it has two wings and an electric drive. It easier to bring a wheelchair into the salon, a folding ramp has been made in the doorway. The cabin has an information board, a climate control system, USB ports and a video surveillance system. Data from video cameras and other information is displayed on a large monitor installed in the middle of the dashboard. Naturally, the driver does not need to switch gears, as in the diesel version. There is a toggle switch to the right of the driver's seat, like buses with automatic transmission. The Gazelle City moves silently and very smoothly, because the rear suspension is pneumatic. According to the official specifications, the range of the electric bus on a single battery charge is 150 kilometers. But the customer has not yet commented on this. He is going to make his own measurements during the actual use of Gazelle City in the city when transporting passengers. Large class electric buses used in Moscow, the Gazelle City does not have a pantograph on the roof. Access to the charger is made through a small hatch in the front of the hood. The charging station looks like a large man height cabinet with four electrical adapters. With this charging station, both fast charging up to 80% of the battery capacity, which lasts half an hour, and long term charging up to 100% of the battery capacity, which takes 3 to 4 hours, are possible of the mini electric bus are successful, the Moscow government intends to purchase a large batch of Gazelle City from Gaz.